to alert and tell the federal government that they must take steps to counter the damages intended by our passengers' utterances. It will take the grace of God for the country not to record a spike in ethno sectarian strife when the supposed leader made the kind has made the kind of criminal comments that came from a passenger. Citizens have to be reassured that the government is on top of this situation, which have no bearing in the lives of a passenger. The professional Rabu Rosa last week alleged that Boko Haram and Moradin Flani headsmen are out to Islamize and um, Flanize Nigeria and the entire West Africa. Let us immediately point out that he told this insensitive lies at the church service in the central part of the country, which implies that he fully knows the import of the agenda is implementing. The first logical deduction is that he wants Christians to take up arms against Muslims by stoking the suspicion that adherents of the latter faith are out to annihilate the, the former. Secondly, he is pitching the South against the North, which will lead to a death match should Nigerians make the mistake of failing for the old weasels and leaks. Coalition for Nigeria Movement is using this opportunity to remind the passenger that the era where he can fool most people sometimes is over. He can now only fool a few people once in a while. Nigerians are wiser and they know that the problem of the country today have their roots in the manner of Asanjo handled the affairs of the country when he had the unusual fortune of being the first civilian president in the current democratic dispensation. In terms of his alleged Islamization of the country, had Obasanjo done the right thing when he was in office, the then dubious governor that told the Sharia rule would not have had the fertile ground to sow the seed of controversy that is to be bearing the fruits of extremism and radicalization. He ignored them and allowed them to set the country on the tortuous path it today treads. The property he laid the foundation for remains the foundation of the huge recruitment pool for terrorist groups. We state unequivocally that he, the ex-president ex is playing a game. He knows exactly where he is going, which is not far from the agenda to disintegrate the country at all costs. We have seen this pattern in the assertion of those that have come out to support his evil position. It is for this reason that we declare that, Obas that Obasanjo owes Nigerians and the rest of the world more explanation to shed light on his aims, intentions, and objectives, why he made such evil pronouncement that is now dividing the country. He should come out to tell the world about his evil plans in details. 